All right. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hope you have had a great day. So tonight we're going to do some dances, some diversions. And before I do, just want to thank a few folks to make this possible. Thank you, uh, New York Branch, Risa, for putting this together, uh, helping us with Zoom. And John Crabtree is also our producer on the other end of in Massachusetts. Many of you know Alex. Uh, she will be assisting as well. So um, we're dancing again here from Watertown, Massachusetts, and um, hope we'll have some more fun here. So why don't we start? with some marches or we'll warm up and if you like to keep your if you like to keep the camera on so we can see at least i can help you especially when we are dancing we know where you're going that would be great and let's get some marches on And toes up. And toes down. Arms, swing your arms. Swing the other way. So rotate to the left and to the right and double tight left and right and left and right and left and right do some gentle skip and walk You. All right, so next we're going to do a warm up dance before we start a do some more stretching. And this is Boston two steps and or a modification of Boston two step. In a normal situation, we'll be dancing around the hall facing counterclockwise. So that'll be the direction we're going. It starts, I'll, I'll show everybody how it goes. It start with forward, two bars, one and two, and face your partner, set, three and four, going back the other way, five and six, face your partner, set, and eight, that's seven and eight. Then we'll take hands with partner, goes counterclockwise, sideways, step, close, step, go the other way, step, Close, step, in ballroom, hold, poke up. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Thank you. So um, let's walk this. If you have not done so already with your partner or if you can, you're dancing on your own, you can do that on your own. You go forward for two, uh, two bars, ready, go. Step one and two, then face your partner and set three and four, then go the other way five and six and set your partner seven and eight face your partner sideways or chasse's step close step and step close out the other way step close set next two bars pokas step hop step hop step hop step hop so if you're dancing alone you can feel free to mod Modify it whichever direction you like to face and you do the step hop you can skip Just skip on your own. Just basically keep your board body warm. So let's have some music Forward to begin Ready go The other way Side step. Boca. Forward. Step. Side 
high step. Oh god. do one more bit of warm up we'll do a we'll play a waltz we'll do some stretching and feel free to do any way do any exercise that you feel comfortable if you do want to follow me make sure you have something to hold on to have a chair or something so so you don't fall back uh fall down so let's get it started feet parallel first okay Turn out. And play to your right. And left. Okay, turn out. Forward. Okay, in. And turn out. Together. Left foot. Right, so one more time. In. Okay, out. Together. Left foot. Right foot is still forward. And to the side. Forward. Together. Left foot. Right. One more time. So just turn out forward, all the way back. All the way forward, and together, left foot. All the way back. Right foot, one more time. Foot. Make sure the right knee is down, step on the ball. Together, point, step, point, together, one more time, step, point, right feet parallel, right foot straight back, and go forward, half, bend your back knee, it up all right thank you very much so that was that walls was brought to us by child's play that was and vu it's a nice waltz 
All right. So um, for t tonight's lesson, I thought it would be fun if we can review some skip change of steps. So you see, most of us have done some skip change of steps before. And if we could have eight bars uh, get ready. So what we would like to do is if we can have eight bars of music, I'll demonstrate that eight bars of skip change of steps. I'd like to ask everybody Ready? to do it. And it's yeah. step, 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 and step, close step. All right, so, so it starts with, uh, I'm not mirroring everybody now, so I'm dancing with my own right foot here, and the step, hop on the left, hop, step, close step, hop, step, close step. All right, so remember the nice turnout, nice close of third position, and let's have eight bars, if I can ask everybody to give it a try. Eight bars of music. Ready? And... All right, that looks pretty good. I saw everybody's, I couldn't see everybody's feet, but I can imagine everybody has very nice turnout, nice clothes. And more importantly, I can see everyone's face is eyes are at, at the level and uh, smiled. Everyone smiled, that's great. So let's do it one more time. This time I'd like to ask everybody to listen. In addition to the music, what, what sound your feet are creating when they touch the floor? So we can try eight bars, eight more bars, then let's listen to what- Ready? And- Let's listen to what it sounds like. A bars of music, please. Ready? And. So, did anybody hear the sound of your sole of your shoes touching the floor and start to scratch? Scratch. Um, that's, um, I, I just recently saw a video. It was a very lovely dance. I, I was going to use it, but I realized there's a lot of scratching noise, especially um, in a smaller hall, like our house, any scratching noise, I can hear that. But there's a way, I think there's a good way to avoid that. And if everybody's willing to do this exercise with me, I just had a very lovely Halloween. When we're in Halloween, we're sneaking on people. What do we do? We put our hands up. We walk very slowly, quietly. So in order to do that, you're not going to hear the noise of stepping down, or you're not going to hear the noise of scratching. You're not going to sneak on anybody with that no those noises. Instead, your feet will go down, each foot down is gentle but firm. It was some flexibility with your, with your feet, but also flexi flexibility with your knees. So let's try this. I'll demonstrate this exercise without music, actually. I'll count for four bars. Uh, hands are optional. This is not RSCDS style, but use lift, step, close step, lift, step, close step and see how we can do this. Ready? And lift, step, close, step, lift, step, close, step, lift, step, close, step, lift, step, close, step. If I, everybody can try that, hands are optional. And um, as if you're sneak on somebody, you don't have to do the hop, but just gently lift your left foot so you can propel forward on my count. Ready? And I'll step, close, step, hop, step, close, step, hop, step, close, step, hop, step, close, step. I hope that will help. 
in terms of reducing the noise, making sure your feet are firmly down, but with some flexibility with your with your uh, knee and your feet. So ankle, so that when, when your foot comes down, it doesn't step on our downstairs no, downstairs neighbors, and as well as reducing the amount of scratches. So can we uh, have, uh, that was Hanukkah playing uh, Leda Milton's daughter for us. Can we ask Hanukkah to play a little bit slower, 15% uh, slower? And um, let's try this. There will be eight bars of music. You can just lift without the hopping and give it a try. See if you can use that concept and give it a try. With music, please. Ready? And... Um, actually, that can we can we do the, the other one? Yeah. Yeah, the slower one, right? So let's do it one more time. We'll, we'll see if we can uh, slow have a cut down one more time. Again, using the gentle skip. Ready? And. So using that, and I think this is good exercise to do at home because we're not dancing a big hall. We don't have to worry about having lots of ground to cover. And this is good exercise to uh, strengthen your calf and also make your knees flexible. So you have a very good um, exercise to make sure you don't scratch your floor. All right, so that was a bars of phrase, a skip change of step. So I hope you will be able to do that at home. So let's form set. Let's uh, do some uh, practice of the formations. The first formation we we'll like to practice is a right and left. So everybody has, knows about that. If you're having your computer, if your room allows, if you can have the computer be the head of your set, um, that is, your, if you're a lady, your right shoulder will be the computer is. And if you're a man, you'll be left shoulder on the computer. And if we can start from here, that will be our head of the set, second and third couple will be on our way. So before we start, let's um, look at the video to see how things are going in terms of the rights and lefts, how it's done. I'll stop sharing on my end. And this is the video coming from uh, New Zealand. I think it's Shaolin's your neighborhood, right? Lower Hut in Wellington. Very good. So let's see the rights and lefts and see how they, how they do that. Actually, if you can have full screen, please, John. Oh, oh, sorry about that. All right, ro let's roll it. So, from that right to left, I think it's a basic figure. Everybody probably knows it, know it already. But I would like to ask everybody to pay attention to is where your hands are when the hands started to join and when they start to release. And also, let's take make sure that we look at the polite turn. That is top man, a bottom lady at the end. They will have a, a long turn. So, John, can we have a can we slow it down and show it one more time so we can see how the hands, where the hands are joined, where the hands are in front of you or behind you, and how high they are when they are released. Let's roll it. I turn top and bottom lady. And also they have a long term in order to go back to place. 
Thank you, John. So that's the right and left it was a demonstration by our friends in New Zealand. So if I can ask everybody to walk this and cross over giving right hand, your hand will be about shoulder height. And when you let go, the hand is still about shoulder height before you pound down at left hand on the side, three and four. And cross over giving right hand, five and six, at left hand on the side, seven and eight. Follow your left hand, the first man spot as well as the second lady spot. You will need to have a long term to come back. Thank you very much. So um, let's do that to the music. And let me share the music. Eight bars. Ready? And... So with that exercise, I also noticed everybody did very well. Rather than dancing with your ghost head on, you actually are dancing around each other. So that's great. So let's try from the different position. If you were the first couple, let's try it from the second couple. Then you might have the chance to try the polite turn. A bar, please. A bars of music. Ready? And... Very good. So remember, hands when the hands are released at the end before each two bars, and the hands are still at the shoulder height before they come down. All right, so let, that looks great. And so why don't we put that into a dance? The first dance of the uh, real Scottish country dance this evening will be Duke of Athos Real. So we'll walk this, we'll demonstrate this. It starts with first couple, and the second couple, take hand on the side, set for two bars, and dance right hand across halfway for two bars. And second couple at the top, take hand on the side, set again, five and six, and left hand across halfway back to place. That was first eight bars. If you have not walked that, please do. Then second eight bars. First men to start, first men and second lady will set advancing for two and turn by the right hand all the way around for two, finish where they started. That takes four bar, first lady follows suit. Set advancing, five and six, turn by the right, seven and eight, everybody's back home. The third phrase, first couple, We'll cross over, give me right hand, cast off one place, second couple stepping up. First couple will dance up, half figure eight, around the standing second couple who step up on three and four, finishing second place on own side. The dance concludes with top couple, second couple, first couple dance eight, right and left. So let's quickly walk that, left on this side. Cross over giving right hand and left on the side. So that's the dance. So it's a simple dance, but let's see if we can incorporate the points we practiced earlier. Remember your feet, remember your hands, when to release, and don't smash the ghost guts head on. That would be great. So we'll play the music twice. We'll do twice through and hope you enjoy it. This is Alistair Fraser play, playing for us.
All right, let's get a sip of water. And whenever you're ready, we'll go on to the next dance. So the next dance will feature, well, that will feature right and left for three couples. So right and left for four couples. Quick review, that was eight bars of phrase. You have a change, right hand crossover, left hand on the side, you have two pairs of them. So each hand, each exchange is two bars, so that makes it eight bar phrase. You end where you started. Right and left for three couples. You think the number of couple, the number of changes will be increased, and you're right. It's going to be three pairs of rights change place, giving right hand, left hand, three pairs of them. That makes it 12 bars. It's an odd figure, but it's usually preceded by or followed by something else, a four bar phrase. So, John, if we can uh, call up our friends in Lower Hutt, New Zealand, one more time. So they're going to show us three couple rights and lefts and see how it goes. Crossover giving the right hand and left hand somewhere. Let's, let's roll it. That's, that looks like fun. That's, that's quite that's quite busy. All right. So um, I think everybody can see the first. It starts with crossover giving right hand. But how does the left hands work? Where, where do people go? The way I try to. There are two ways to remember it. One way to remember is the middle couple. So our middle couple here. If you want to, uh, we'll play it one more time. Is the lady with red blouse and the man with a uh, light color polo shirt. The middle couple, whenever they cross over, give me right hand, they always go to their right to give the left hand on the side. As a result, there are two hot spots. The, hot, the first hot spot is the top lady's spot with uh, the lady with a uh, flower skirt and the bottom man Scott, that's the man with um, dark top. At those spots, they will have to cross over giving left hand on a diagonal. So let's slow it down and see how whether that's how it goes. So with the, uh, all right, so let's play one more time. Let's roll it, John. Right hand. Remember the middle couple, let's pause it here. Um, the middle couple will turn to your right and in order to give the left hand on the side. So let's keep rolling. Let's pause it here one more time. And as you notice, uh, that was the first pairs of rights and lefts. Middle couple goes to the right. The second pair is the same deal. Middle couple goes to the right. Let's still follow our feature couple, the lady in red blouse and the man in the um, light top. Uh, junkie, roll it. That would be second crossover, give me right hand. Pause it here. So you can you notice the middle couple at this time, they're turning to their right so that our feature couple have nowhere, nowhere to go. So they can only go diagonally giving left hand. Let's see if that's where, where they're going. They happen to be a hot spot as well. Let's roll it, John. So that's the second, that was the second right and left pair. The third right and lefts. Think about the middle couple, they will turn to the right after crossover giving right hand. See where the feature couple can go. They can only accommodate them and change place on the left on this side. So um, let's roll it. Cross over the right hand. 
slide. So let's pause it here for a second. So notice the top men, the men with uh, kill hose and the bottom lady, they will have a polite turn here. They follow their left hand. So let's roll it and see if they follow, have a long term in order to finish in place. So that's the right and left for three couples. Can we play one more time, John? Let's play one more time. Let's, let's just keep going without pause this time. Uh, remember, it's a 12-bar phrase, so there's a four-bar will be something bef before the actual for uh, formation comes in. So let's roll it. Ready. Right. It is what it is. Yeah, certainly. All right. So thank you, John. And um, so that's right and left for three couples. So let's walk this. Um, let's walk this. And we'll start with the second, uh, the couple in the second place. This is actually an easier place to go. Uh, I will be the second men with two other men on the side and second lady. We'll cross over giving right hand. Then we're middle couple, so we're going to the right. So we change place on the left on the side. And three and four. And we'll cross over giving right hand one more time. And this time, the active couple are in a hot spot. Or another way to think about it, the middle couple will go to their right. So we can we're in the hot spot, we'll change place, giving left hands. And the third time, crossover giving right hand, the middle couple will go to the right. So you give left hand on the side to change place. Guess what? You're home. So right and left through three is a exercise of no progression. Everybody's back home. All right. So can we can we do that? Give give it a dance. We'll have 16 bars of music. And still Hanukkah playing for us. So listen for four bars. Count for four bars and cross over giving right hand on bar five. Whenever you're ready, Hanukkah. Ready. One, two, three, and let's go. Cross. So that was 16, uh, well, 12 bars, but we have 16 bars of music. That's right and left of three couples. Any questions? All right. So that was right and left of three couples. Two ways to think about it. Just one more time. Think about this. Middle couple goes to the right after crossing over right hand. Or if you're in the hot spot, you will remember to uh, cross diagonally. So let's put them into the dance. <coughs> this dance is called Montreal Rendezvous. It's another dance by our friend uh, Dale Bertzal. If you want to watch here, I will demonstrate the first 16 bar for you. We're the first couple. It starts with second couple will step up and first couple will dance down to the third place one and two. Then give handy hand First man give right hand, first lady giving left hand to the turn of the third couple, about three quarters of the way around, three and four. First couple finish in second place. Then next four bars, first couple will cross over giving, without giving hands, only pass right shoulder, five and six. And with the top couple, that second couple, first lady giving right hand, first man give left hand and turn halfway around, seven and eight. After eight bars, first couple finish on the opposite side. We'll do that one more time. Dance down to the third place, one and two. Turn the third couple, the same hand, the same handy hands, three and four, and cross over past each other, right shoulder, five and six, and turn the top couple, seven and eight. Finish 
where you started. Second couple will step up or step uh, step up whenever first couple vacated their spot. So let's walk this together on my account. If you have not have not done so, first couple will dance down to the third place one and two. Turn the third couple three and four. You're finishing second place. Crossover pass right shoulder five and six. Turns top couple halfway round seven and eight. You finish on the top place. Then let's do it one more time. First couple dance down to the third place one and two and turn the third couple three and four pass each other by the right shoulder five and six turn the top couple halfway round seven and eight. After 16 bars you visited all the four corners you have met all of them that's what rendezvous does so let's do that for let's dance that let's dance that to the music 16 bars this time we're fortunate to find Laura risk to play this for us 16 bars first couple dance down to begin ready and cross over and turn top couple dance down Turn third couple, cross over, and turn top, top couple. So that was 16 bars. That was half the dance. Second half the dance, we pretty much covered it. If you don't watch here real quick, first couple will set for two, one, and two, cast off one place, three, and four. Ooh. We have 16 bar left. What do we do? So actually, 12 bar left. 12 bar music left. What do we do? Right and left for three. Cross over, giving right hand. Left on the side. Cross over, giving right hand. Left on the side. Oh, sorry. And first couple actually that cross diagonally. Cross over, giving right hand. And left on the side. So let's walk the next 16 bars. If you have not done so, first couple will from the top. Set for two, cast for two, that's four bars. Start with crossover, giving right hand for two, and turn to your right, give left hand on the side. Crossover, giving right hand, and diagonally, giving left hand. And crossover, giving right hand, left hand on the side, finish second place. You're ready to do it again. All right, so let's do that to the music. Let's come to the top place. 16 bars. Ready? And, and cast. Crossover, giving right hand. So that's the dance. Montreal Rendezvous with three couple right Charles and Charles turn on yes. your sound sharing the next time around Share that would be sound. helpful yes thank you that's why we couldn't hear the music all right so at least we walk through the geography we know how the dance goes why don't we just dance it three times through and just a quick quick Recap, first couple dance down to the third place, turn third couple, cross over and turn second couple, finish in second place, in top place opposite side. And repeat that for another eight bars, finish in top place own side. Then first couple set and cast, ready for three couple, rights and lefts. So the dance will start with first couple, dance down and turn the third couple to begin. So it will be dancing three rounds through. Laura Riss wrote the tune and play for us. Thank you, Laura.
Island Cash. From the top, first couple of dance down. Montreal Rendezvous. It's collected in Montreal 50th anniversary book. All right, so we have a little bit of time. If you want to grab a sip of water, let's do it one last dance before we go. The last dance will be Flowers of Edinburgh. So if you want to watch here as we walk through this, if you, I will demonstrate this first and you have a chance to walk it. It starts with first couple, first lady actually, will lead the chase and dance behind the lady's line, behind the third couple, first man dance through the middle, first lady behind the men's line, that takes six bars and set down seven and eight, then men lead the chase. Dance behind the ladies and dance up into the middle and set. The third phrase is lay down the middle for four and up for four. The dance concludes with who set uh, to the side, quarter turn, up and down, quarter turn into the center, half turn round, all back, all back. All right, so if you have not walked it, and if you like to walk this, let's walk it together. You start with first lady, lead the chase. Cast off, dance down below the third couple, and dance up behind the men's line, and then dance up in the middle, and set, that's eight bars. You change place, so men lead the chase this time. Men cast off, and dance behind the third couple, dance up into, your first place in our original place and set. The dance, the next phrase is lay down the middle and up. The dance concludes with push set. Out to the side, quarter turn, up and down, quarter turn, into the middle, half turn round, and fall back, fall back. All right, so since this is the last dance, we'll just do two rounds through. Thank you very much for the class uh, for joining the class tonight. Flowers of Edinburgh. Still Alistair Fraser for us. Alice, Alice, Alistair Fraser, everybody. 
So we'll play a short waltz. If you want to stretch or if you want to do some waltz, feel free. This is Paul Anderson's tune played by Catherine Miller and Tom Pixton. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Charles. That was really lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you.